Hey guys! Okay, one more thing. So, I was looking at my videos, I was re-watching them before I post them, and I know a couple of times I said that there's some people that are more advanced than me. Um, I don't believe that. I think they may have more knowledge at the moment, but I don't think they're more advanced or more powerful than I am. I think we're all equal. I think we all have the same power, it's just some of us have, have tapped into it and others have not. Um, some of us came here open and more aware and other people had to learn it. But at the end of the day, when you do tap into that power, we are all equal. Um, if somebody's trying to do something to hurt you, you can stop it. You can shield yourself. You know, I'm rubber, you're glue, it bounces off of you. If it does happen to attach itself to you, all you have to do is transform it. You can transform energy and you transform it into something positive. You transform it into something that can help you versus harm you. You laugh at it and not laugh at it, but just say like, you can't hurt me, you know, and then just transform it um, and just keep going in the way of the light and just be happy and joyful. Um, when you're happy and you're laughing and you're smiling, things can't really touch you. You know, we're all here on a journey. Um, we're all vibrating at different levels and we're all at different points in our life. But no one is more powerful than the other when we're awake. Um, I feel that sometimes people will say stuff like, I've, I've learned in, the, in different religions, they'll say, you have Ashe, right? And some people have more Ashe than others, which is the magical buildup of karma that you get from your previous lives or from your family lineage. I think that's really interesting. Um, maybe I feel this way because I've built up my karma, but... And deep down inside, I don't believe that. I believe maybe because I came here and I'm, I feel different. And I, I, I know I'm definitely different. Um, but it could just be because I feel more awake than, you know, my counterparts and people that I've met. Um, and it's interesting because I've met people that were not awake at all. And then they just got whoosh, downloaded with a bunch of information. They found all these teachers. They And then they, they surpassed my information and knowledge, but we learn from each other. And then I, right now I'm going through this whole phase where I'm getting super downloaded with information. Um, at the end of the day, if you believe in yourself, it's what you believe. And if you let these people get into you, into your mind, then they can control you. Um, but in reality, they can't. It's just your belief structure. Uh, watch the movie, The Skeleton Key. It's about this woman who didn't believe in voodoo or anything. Then they got her to believe, and then they were able to take her over. But had she not believed in it like she didn't in the beginning, they would have never been able to do anything to her. So don't believe in a lot of these things that are meant to harm you. It's one thing to learn it so you can understand why people feel that way and that you can coach and guide people that do feel that way to another level so you can heal them and guide them emotionally to get past this and to be stronger and to get past curses that they think they might have and hexes that they may think that were put on them and, you know, and just explaining because you understand where they're coming from. A lot of these um, beliefs stem from more, um, from, from different types of religions. Um, and yeah, I, you know, I grew up Catholic and I've, I've been submersing myself in multiple religions recently and studying them. And, you know, I look forward to going to different countries and actually learning about them up front. Like I want to go and study with the Native Americans and hear their version and then go to Tibet and then go to India and hear their version and um, learn from the people. Then go to Polynesia and, you know, where Mu was and hear their version and go to Australia and with the Aborigines and hear their version. Like that would, that's what I want to do. If you want to fund me, <laughs> go to Let Me School You, do some donations, you know, I'll use that to travel. Um, but I just look at it like you're, we're all powerful beings. We just forgot. And it doesn't mean that the power is not there. It's still there. But if you feel that somebody did something to you, you can transform it into something positive. You can transform it into energy that's going to heal you. You can transform it into a positive thought. You can transform it into a way that you build your power and say, you will not harm me go, leave. I let you go. I release you. Go. You know, there's so many different things that you can do. Um, I, yeah, I, I've just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, sometimes you do need to go to a more powerful spiritual healer, not because they're 
better at what they do, but it's because your belief is so strong in that, that this other person will be able to understand you and vibrate on the same frequency and, and get you to understand or do something that will make you feel safe and comfortable. Um, and then, and then you'll feel cured or you'll feel better. You know, we, we all vibrate on different levels. We all believe different things and we all have to hear the answer in a different way. Um, but deep down inside, you have the power. No one has power over you. Don't let anybody believe they have, don't let them believe they have power over you and don't allow them. Uh, in the movie Labyrinth, she says, you have no power over me. Those are very strong messages. Movies have very strong messages. Um, and they're all secrets. You know, they're all trying to tell you in advance, you know, the answers. Um, so just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to get going. Bye.